Hello you lovely lot. I think it is, is it Thursday? Yeah. <laughs> welcome to the vlog and welcome to Storm, was it a storm or a thingy? Well, it was both. <laughs> it, was, it was a storm, uh, it was a hurricane, then it got, what's the word Daisy? I used the word degraded. Yeah, so that's, I think that's quite a mean term to use on a hurricane. Imagine you're all, all Nicole coming in, I'm a hurricane, hurricane, and then you get degraded like, you ain't a hurricane, Nicole, you're just a breeze. So it's been degraded, and um, yeah, it was kind of windy at uh, about, at, well, early hours. So yeah, it's nine, it's just gone nine-ish. We've headed down to Hospitality House, got some coffee. Um, this is sort of our setup in the morning because we are lucky enough to have a kitchen and stuff. We keep cereal here, we keep milk here, we've got some bagels on the go, we've got a toaster and all those bits and pieces. Um, I gave Daisy a nudge <laughs> at 10 to 7 this morning. Daisy, can you see if you can get us on Cosmic Rewind? Boom. Boom! She did it, she got us on Cosmic Rewind. So the plan for today, I don't think the parks are opening up until about either 12 o'clock or 1 o'clock. So we, we are forced into having a chill, which is kind of difficult for us because we are, well, we get up and do stuff. So we're gonna have a bit of a chill, probably get a bit straight here, might even treat ourselves, get a wash on, bit of ironing, and uh, <laughs> just like a home vlog. <laughs> Hello number one. Hello. How are we? Oh me, I feel fast. I, I have got fat on this holiday. <laughs> I never need to eat again. Um, so yeah, the plan is to head over to Epcot at about, I don't know, we'll, we'll figure that out. Head over to Epcot and then um, we'll stay on Epcot and then we're off to Mickey's not so scary Christmas party. <laughs> Very merry. Very merry, scary oh. Christmas party. It's oh, it's getting windy out there again now. <laughs> right, so this is the view from our balcony. So it is, it's not windy at the moment, it's kind of breezy, but yeah, it's, it's a bit of a dirty old morning if I'm being honest. Right, 12 o'clock. You girls look gorgeous. How are we all? Nice, so we've done a ticketed event before, haven't we? Yeah, we've done the Not So Scary 2019. Yeah. And so what, what is this? It starts at 7. It starts at 7, but you can normally get in earlier. Get in at 4. Get in at 4. Right. So, Daisy, you've been listening to Disney Food Blog. Oh, yeah, I was listening to Disney Food Blog. Uh, and what are you looking forward to? Free hot chocolate and free cookies. Nice. And eggnog. If you want eggnog. Nice. Has that got booze in it? Has it got booze in it? <laughs> the one we made had booze in it. I think I traditionally it does. Yeah, it's Magic Kingdom, which I know now you can get some alcoholic beverages at Magic Kingdom, but I don't think the freebie ones they're giving away for the Christmas party would necessarily be alcoholic. Okay. Anyone can go up and have them, so. So as Daisy was listening to it, oh, heads up, it's still not great outside, but it's not like torrential. So we've got the ponchos back. Oh, fun fact, those ponchos, when you buy them, really small, when you try repacking them, ginormous. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. But yesterday at Animal Kingdom, I saw a girl folding one up neatly, and I don't know how she did it. Really? Yeah, it was quite impressive. You won't be surprised now that I just stuffed them in a carrier bag, and so we're taking the big backpack today. Um, so, something I didn't know, I'm sure Tracy would have told me, but when Daisy was watching Disney Food Blog, they, they were talking about tonight, well, the. Christmas party. Uh, I did hear something kind of worrying. How much are the tickets for this? I can't remember. You can't remember. I really can't remember. It was it was pricey. Was it? it was pricier than I was expecting it to be. I think it's it's. Tracy's gonna check. I did hear something when they were talking about it on the thing, and I was just like, whoa, because. It's cheaper now. Is it? Because if you go closer to Christmas, it's really expensive. How much is it if you go closer to Christmas? I don't know. What? I think we paid over 400. I think it's over, I don't know. Okay. It was a lot of money. It was, yeah. I, I can't tell you, it's not all that good. It's all. We will check. But when I heard, like when they were talking on the food block, I did like, <coughs> she, I heard, she said, I might have heard this wrong, she said $200 a ticket. We didn't pay that much. Oh, good. But I know we did pay, I think it was, it might have been 150. 150 each. We'll check, but strap yourselves in, you know, as you might expect. Not a cheap night owl, just so you know. 
All we're eating today, all we'll be doing today is eating and drinking stuff that's included on the ticket. <gasps> oh, they're meet and greets. Morning, Daisy, look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we got mini over in the corner. Oh, this is fantastic. I think this is because it's sort of wet weather. <laughs> um, I think because it's wet weather, they're just you know pulling out all the stops to keep everybody happy. So I think there's some pin trading going on, which is really cool. So I think Minnie's just sat down doing some colouring in this morning. Right, that was the busiest bus ride of the holiday, standing room only. Oh, I'm getting dripped on, but we're here. And our Guardian's time is ready. We're ready to go. We're meeting a friend today. So we're going to be um, hanging out with our friend Adam for the day and the Christmas party. And... Yeah, we're going to go and meet up and get on Guardians. Who's excited for Guardians? Luke's gone flip-flops. Yes, mate. I'm just very efficient after being miserable in the moist sucks yesterday. I'm really looking forward to my new uh, setup for today. I think we've got full wet setup, um, and I just want to. I'm looking forward to seeing how it goes. <laughs> I think you're going to be moist. Nah. Yeah. I'm the driest man in the universe right now. Right, so the park's due to open up at one and it looks like the world and his wife have arrived. It's going to be a bit of a wait, I think. Yeah, uh, I don't think Test Track's going to be running for a while. <laughs> a little bit down from the Do you want to get on Test Track today? I always want to get on Test Track. I think, uh, I wouldn't call the last time we went on it the Test Track experience. No, it was a bit half. Yeah, it got, it got red flagged. <laughs> right, we're in. Oh, it's a bit blowy. That was mental. Oh, sorry. I didn't realise. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to talk to Daisy and she's taking a picture of someone else. Uh, that was a bit bonkers. And now Daisy's got a whole thing going on. <laughs> Just, you know when you try and help someone to be helpful and it turns into a whole drama. Right, whilst it is, woo, whilst it is windy, windy. It's, it's not overly cold. No. Right, I think we might hop on to, oh, <laughs> oh it's oh, very oh, windy. Oh, working overtime mate. It's very windy. We are just about to head on to Cosmic Rewind. So we've got full team assemble. Hello, hello, hello. Morning. Morning. <laughs> so the lovely Mr. Hatton's joining us for the day or we're joining him. I've been adopted. Yeah. Can't get rid of me now. And uh, Tracy, as you know, has been busy. I think this is. Like, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so uh, it's been a mad morning. Uh, we don't really know what the track was like this morning, but it's not doing too bad. Yeah. Going out on a wet setup. Morning! <laughs> uh, Tracy, <laughs> Tracy has totally bottled it on Cosmic Rewind. Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's go and ride it. Let's go. <laughs> All the moves stay though. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Zandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Zandar. Epcotians, citizens of Epcot, does anyone know what they call themselves? You excited? I want a new song. You, you want a new song? You want a different song? Guardians done. How was that team? Five out of five. Five out of five. And I really do get spun out by rides, but I sat at the back the last two times. That was all right. <laughs> I could definitely do that. I'm not going to do it again today. But that was. Oh, what? Well, well we, we can't do virtual cue more than twice. Well, no, more than once. But that was awesome. What song was that? I ran. I ran. It was good. I like it. It's the one, if you've seen La La Land, it's the one that Emma Stone requests from the Ryan Gosling's band. And oh. then he's like, how dare you? I haven't watched Your wife is that way. My wife is that way. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but my potential wife won't be down this way. I like these little guys. And him. Yeah. 
I thought that was a goofy ear. <laughs> well, you're wrong, key. It's a security it's tag. A security tag. <laughs> How do I look? Ridiculous. Ridiculously good. No, just just regular ridiculous. old ridiculous. Ridiculously amazing. Just ridiculous. ridiculous. Just ridiculous. Little just kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Beat ya. <laughs> I was like, get my camera out. I was like, ooh, gust of wind. This is a bit good. windy. <laughs> Your turn. Right, it's coming up for 10 to 2, and we are heading into the land because we're going to hop on soaring. Oh, that's just set yourself up Soaring went up to a 60 minute wait, so we're going on to living with Alan. Watch both of our vlogs, you'll probably get the exact same speed. <laughs> right, heading on to this ride. West Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce bountiful harvests now and into the future. <laughs> the sustainable system we're using here recycles the water in the tanks. As a result, we're able to save millions of gallons each year. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal. We are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional pesticides. Oh, Mickey's out. Right, we have done living with the land, and now I think we're gonna go to World Showcase, eat around the world. I feel like we should be doing like a Florida Weather Channel report. Don't take treacherous journeys. <laughs> Don't swim in the sea. <laughs> so we've got a couple of uh, style fashion easters. Oh dear, you do look like you need. <laughs> oh, hold on, that could be a thumbnail. <laughs> So Christmas has arrived on World Showcase. Yeah, it looks so lovely. Oh, and it smells amazing too. Right, we've we've we're not around a bin, we're around a normal table. Adam's got a full dinner. <laughs> what do you go for? Uh chicken tikka masala and the paneer six. I wasn't expecting it to be this big. It definitely that is a big, big portion, yeah. Uh, no paneer in here. Uh, Luke. <laughs> Hello. How's your paneer? I'm already bored of that joke. Oh no no this is I think it's yeah. uh, Daisy you you've gone for the paneer as well. What what's your favourite film? Is it Paneer and Loathing in Las Vegas? Oh I wish I said Las Vegas, not Las Vegas. You were slow to pick me up there. Ah, oh, and uh, we've got the samosas, what are they like? Very nice. Nice! Right, we are currently in the very Christmassy Werther's original store. Adam's shouting us some snacks, which is very nice of him. How nice is this wreath? It's lovely in here. Right. Have we tried that? Thank you, Adam. No, I've been so good. I've been really good. <laughs> I've stopped saying the paneer joke. <laughs> that's, 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 your, that's, your, that's your repayment. That's the bargaining for this. <laughs> what did you go for? Mickey uh, Marshmallow. How is it? You know I mean? Yeah, I would like. Yeah, thanks very much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it's lovely. <laughs> Such a clean bite. That was really clean. I like the way Adam didn't get that whole woo, want it, can't have it, want it. <laughs> I just, no. We've just had a nice snack. Oh, thanks. Oh, hi, Luke. Oh, hi. Hi. Uh, that's a really good dining experience in there. Do you remember when you used to go there yeah. with the uh, all you can eat buffet and the uh, umpa band? I like it. You can go and dance down in the center circle. Catch me in there, I'll be on the dance floor. It's a good fun time in there. It's really fun in there. Yeah. When was the last time we went? Oh, years ago. Years ago, but the food is good and it is a really lovely vibe in there. Yeah, we should go back. We should go back. Let's go now. That's not now. Right, we are checking out some art. And this is in the American Pavilion. I never knew this was here. Oh, that's lovely. I saw this one at Disney Springs. I really like this one. So we got some shaved ice. What does, it, what does it smell like, the shaved ice? Ice. No? <laughs> How is it? I need to see a dentist. I know. It's cold. Nice. How lovely is this?
Right, we have now left Epcot. We're having a lovely walk along. Where are we heading to? Magic Kingdom. We going to a Christmas party. We've never stayed here, but this does look a bit fancy. I really like it. It's nice, isn't it? Do you like the vibe? I like the vibe. I don't. Old Key West like has my sort of kind of nostalgic like home feel vibe, but this does have a nice chillness to it, which, which I can appreciate. And we can also walk to Epcot from here as well, yeah, which is never a bad thing. No, looks very nice. <gasps> How lovely! How lovely is that? Can you eat it? Is it edible? <laughs> right, it is. Ten past five, we are heading into Magic Kingdom. I am having just like the best day. It's so lovely. I'm having a lovely day. A lovely time. It's lovely. Yeah, well, you, can, you know what you can do. What? Jog on. <gasps> Yeah. This is why, this I is why. I said it, I said it. Left arm everybody, you need to wristband. Left arm. Other left arm. We are heading in. Got our special wristbands. So I think that's where we can get like cake and hot chocolate and allowed on stuff after hours. But I am loving this Christmas vibe. This just looks fantastic. All the decorations just look lovely. Oh. I'm loving this. I definitely don't want to go home. Right, there's a separate part that you go through with your wristbands. So you go through to let, you, let them know that you're uh, at the event. Thank you. Loving it. Free <laughs> stuff. Oh. Oh, I love it. Oh, let's all harmonise. One, two, three. Oh. <laughs> right, what are you expecting from the Christmas party? I'm expecting hot chocolate. Is that it? I'm expecting an amazing parade and I'm expecting really fun music and stuff going on with Yeah. Around us, I'm really I'm kind of pleased that it's not been like what am I trying to say? I think because it's cold, not cold, but it's not hot, it's going to feel slightly more Christmassy. Yeah, it does feel more in keeping with Christmas weather than it I'd, would do if it was sparkling hot. I really, I really, really, I really... I'm sorry, I don't think I'd want a hot chocolate if it was really hot, so... No. Looking forward to the hot chocolate. And if, and if it stays dry, we've had a right result. And also, I'm related. I love a neon, and I love that launching pad neon. First up. Tomorrowland Speedway. I'm going solo. Tracy's going with Daisy. Going Luke and Adam are going together. Who's driving? I'm not. Right. He's the race car driver, so. so it looks like there's a oh Christmas overlay here as well. So you got some baubles. Oi oi! <laughs> and on the left we're gonna get a really close look at Tron. They were testing this a couple of nights ago. It looks super cool. Getting done on the inside! Faster! Faster! <laughs> well, that was awesome fun and it said like 15 minute wait, but we were literally straight on. Trace, how was that? When you're not driving. I mean, it looks like they have got some stuff that might light up. Yeah, we are heading onto the people mover. Hello. Hello. Having a nice time? Oh! <gasps> right, so Space Mountain's down, so the lights are on. This is so cool! <laughs> so I think it's because they're getting ready for the. There's a Christmas overlay on Space Mountain, so uh, they're probably just getting ready for that, putting the Christmas lights up. Oh, I'm not sure if I wanted to see it. It's got the magic. See it. <laughs> you definitely go closer to the metal than you think. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. We got snowflakes on Space Mountain. So we got about half an hour before the party's due to start. So we thought it'd be a good idea to get some food now. And we're in 
cosmic rays. What have you gone for? I've got the Impossible Burger. This one's got guacamole in it. <laughs> well, <laughs> got some chicken strips. Adam, what have you gone for? I've gone for a barbecue chicken sandwich. Nice, and Adam's making sure that we're all sanitised. Oh. Right, so here's the Christmas overlay, or some of it, for Tomorrowland Speedway. Oh, I wish we'd have done it with the Christmas lights on. I'd like to do it again if we got time. It looks really cool. So, Luke, Daisy, Adam and myself are heading on to Space Mountain. Very excited to see the Christmas overlay. Tracy's going to do a bit of shopping, so we're going to meet you outside Casey's Corner. Don't talk to strangers. It does feel, I thought it was going to feel busier than this. It doesn't seem too bad. I think there's an element of people haven't been able to fly out. Yeah. yeah. A lot of people have probably cancelled thinking it wasn't going to go ahead. Yeah. I think we've it's worked in our benefit. Space Mountain, 30 minute wait. You've ruined it. You've ruined it. It's pearly whites. Right, let's see what this Christmas overlay looks like. I love the uh, fa la la, fa la la, fa la la, la. Excellent. Right, how was uh, Space Mountain with the Christmas overlay? Oh, carnage. I, I, I like the fact that you can see a bit more. I don't have a voice left, I'm just screaming too much. Yeah, I'm not sure how many more goes I've got on that. I think my back's gonna take, <laughs> takes a bit of a whacking on that, but it's I like really- cat with nine lives. <laughs> But I really enjoyed that. I prefer it with the Christmas overlay. I like the flashes that you get where you can actually see the track. Daisy, what do you reckon? I like the music. Going to find Tracy in Main Street, but all the feels here tonight. The castle's looking fantastic. Christmas lights are out. Christmas songs are playing. It's Christmas, you lovely lot. A purchase has been made. Oh, wow. How many pennies? Right, Crystal Palace on the left. Great for a character breakfast. Good food. All right. We've done dinner there as well, or just breakfast? I've done dinner there a long, long time ago, yeah. But breakfast is better, I think. Yeah, breakfast is great in there. When we went, it was Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, Tigger. Yeah. It's always just Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, so it's just the um, Winnie the Pooh characters. It's awesome in there. Right, <laughs> the plan is Pirates and Big Thunder. I thought we got rid of the electrical parade. Right, heading on to Pirates, looks very atmospheric with the red mist coming across. It's a bit drizzly, but it's all good. And 10 minute wait. Right, that's pirates done. Look, just because the floor's bouncy, they're having a bounce. I like that ride slightly more every time I ride it. Yeah, it's pretty nice smells on it tonight, yeah. actually. Yes, uh, so now we are heading over to Big Thunder Mountain. Right, we're heading in for our first treat stop. What's the green, what's the flavour of the biscuit? It's got gr it's cream. Biscuit flavour. Brilliant. And you got eggnog as well. Okay, have you, have you gone in on the eggnog? It's really nice. Is it? Adam, have you tried the eggnog? I have a slight thing against eggnog. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, the look they do look delicious, and that's that's my plan. And everybody that's serving us is so lovely. Yeah, all the vibes. I'm a big fan. I like the biscuit. It's keep the eggnog, but you like mushrooms, so I don't trust anything you say. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> right, so our path has been blocked by a parade. It does smell nice in here. Um, so we're gonna watch a bit of the parade and then head over to Big Thunder. Something sweet. 
fun, like cinnamon. That one smelled like sweet. Music's great. Loving it. Heading on to Big Thunder, and it's only a 10 minute wait. Yeah, what happens a, on that? It's and quite it's a, a long, long ride. ride. Yeah, you're up, you're down, you're round, and then you think there's nearly finished, and then something else happens. So it's actually it's a really good value ride. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Surprised how kind of quiet it is. I think a lot of that has got to do with Hurricane Nicole or Tropical Storm Nicole. I think that has affected it, but it's very quiet, isn't it? It's very quiet. Yeah, it's quite nice. All the rides are pretty much all gone. It's not a nice it's night weather-wise, but working out good for us and. Very Christmassy. Coming up half past nine, everyone seems to, seems to be like getting their spots for the fireworks. Excited for the fireworks? I'm excited for the fireworks, I'm not going to try this sun. <laughs> we'll see. Um, and it just looks absolutely beautiful. So earlier on in the day, I did mention that this was kind of an expensive event. However, what I didn't really take into account is it, it does include park access from four o'clock. So, I'm going back on that. I think it's a great value. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, particularly if you haven't got park tickets and you're just doing it as a yeah. bit of your holiday, then it does let you into Magic Kingdom for a substantial amount of time, actually. So it's really good. Yeah, and it has been quiet. Everything has been close to a walk on. We just camped out, waiting for the fireworks. I think after the fireworks, we're considering Mine Train and Jingle Cruise, and that means we can get a bit of a lay-in in the morning. I'm down for that. And Daisy, I'm loving your jump up. I'm so festive right now. You are so festive. We are all here, ready for fireworks. We've got our spot. It's not overly busy. And yeah, getting excited.
<laughs> that is mega. That is amazing. That was amazing. That was one of the best fireworks displays I've seen, full stop. So good. I love yeah. that. No, I agree. Yeah. That was mega. That yeah. Was so good. And we had a really good view. I didn't feel it wasn't obstructed. It didn't feel crowded. It didn't feel like that. Uh, no. no, that was amazing. Yeah. Right, Jingle Cruise. Oh, Adam's left us. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. So we're going to meet up with him tomorrow. Fed up. He got fed up. <laughs> and uh, yeah, Jingle Cruise. Let's go. To whom am I speaking? So this is part of the Christmas overlay for the Jingle Cruise. Someone writing a Santa. Oh, it's a Santa letter. Oh. And I knew it was going to do it. Jingle Cruise done. Uh, there were some new bits on there that I haven't seen before. Yeah, there were some new bits on there. Yeah, it was <coughs> cool. Uh, Skipper was awesome. That's such a crack, cracking ride. I, I thought it was quite creepy in the dark. Yeah, it was, was a little it, bit. It was a little bit creepy, like creeped out. But I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> but there we go. Right, I think heading over to Mine Train. Tracy just made a good point. Our Skipper was very good. But she did speak a bit too quickly. It was kind of difficult to hear, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, they, they normally do speak quite quickly because they've got a lot to get through. But um, I think also her audio bit was a bit distorted. Yeah. So not only was she speaking quite quickly, her audio thing was a bit distorted. So you couldn't always make out what she was saying. Yeah. Luckily, we know some of the jokes. It is really good and it is really nostalgic. <laughs> However, I was a little bit disappointed with the Christmas overlay. It, it, yeah, I expected it to be more different. It was just a few more Christmas themed jokes. Yeah. And some Christmassy bits all around. So yeah, it wasn't as different as I was expecting it to be. Yeah, I think I think if it came to like, if you were trying to decide like whether to do it or not because you wanted to see the Christmas overlay, you know, if it was a big wait. Not a big difference between that and the actual normal jungle cruise. So. I actually think there's more of a difference on the queue, which is all nice and festive, but the ride itself wasn't like massively different, but still cracking right. Yeah, it's still a great if you're ride. Expecting a big difference, then you might be like us, like a bit. Oh, I was expecting a bit more, but it was still jungle cruise, which is what we wanted to do anyway. So yeah, it was the castle just looks stunning. second parade is underway but we saw it the first time round and it looks like it might be a bit of a mission to get across the mine train and we have already done it on this trip um, so we are going to take advantage of fingers crossed quieter transport back to the resort it's definitely all the feels here tonight I've really really enjoyed this not sure but this might be the last time we're at Magic Kingdom this trip Pretty sure it might be, but what a, what a lovely night. That was cracking. I loved it. It was great, actually. I really, really enjoyed the whole thing. Yeah, really, really good. We were super lucky with the weather. You know, compared to what we were, you know, we didn't think we were gonna... We thought this might get canceled because of the weather, so we were so lucky. Yeah. Right, let's get a bus back. And the bus is just there. We've been so lucky with these buses. Right, straight on. It is quarter to 12. Who's had a good day? Yay. That was a good day, wasn't it? That, that was, was a, a long, busy day for That was a big one. Daisy, you are right? Can't get it off. Um, yeah, fun, fun, fun. It is late for us, but we are gonna have a nice old lion in the morning. Um, 
for tomorrow, I think we're gonna have a cheeky lion, and then I think heading over to Disney Springs, and then a bit of Epcot in the evening. It's our last full day tomorrow, boo. But anyway, we're still here, rinsing it out till the end. Thanks so much for following along with us today. Stay safe, be kind, look after one another. Cheers, ears.